In this tutorial, I will teach you how to transform this halo haircut into a textured short pixie haircut using the feather razor and the crocodile thinning shears. We start the haircut with a one inch diagonal back section on both sides. I elevate the mannequin's head down. This will help to maintain length and weight in the outline. I take a small section using my feather razor and I gently place my guide. I use the length as a visual guide as I continue to work around the head shape on both sides. I now take my second section, continuing to take diagonal back sections. I direct the section forward using my first section as my guide. I'm slightly elevating each section higher than the first. This will help to increase texture and softness in the outline of our haircut shape. We continue to take diagonal back sections until we run out of hair. Once I reach the top of the fringe zone, I elevate my mannequin's body position straight up. This will help to intentionally increase texture and softness in the outline. I continue to cut using my feather razor's blade on a slight 30 to 45 degree angle to remove the length, creating noticeable texture in my cutting line. Behind the ear, I change the direction of my blade in the direction of my section, working on a steeper angle to remove more weight. I also start to taper my cutting section towards the head shape, reducing more length rapidly. We continue this process, slightly elevating each section higher than the previous, increasing length in our shape, working up the head shape. Once we complete one side, it's important to assess your haircut shape before completing the opposite side. Feathering with a razor in hairdressing involves using the blade to create soft blended texture in the hair. The angle at which you hold the blade can indeed produce different effects. Using your blade parallel to the hair results in minimal cutting. This angle is great for softening edges and creating subtle texture. Medium angle, 30 to 45 degrees, which is what I'm using in this tutorial, suitable for creating noticeable texture and blending layers. Holding the blade at a steep angle results in more aggressive cutting. This angle is effective for creating defined texture and removing more significant weight from the hair. Combining different angles while feathering can produce varied effects with the same hairstyle. For example, using a shallow angle at the ends for softness and a steep angle near the roots for added volume and texture. We now complete the back zone, taking horizontal sections, using the blade to softly remove weight from the hairline. We now complete the back zone taking horizontal sections using the blade to softly remove weight from the hairline. 
we now work up the head shape towards the occipital bone, removing the corner from the center, flattening the nape zone. This will create a modern shape and will help to enhance the round shape in the crown zone. You can use this method to remove bulk around the hairline to refine the shape whilst maintaining a soft textured outline. We now remove the corner from the top zone, taking horizontal sections, elevating 90 degrees straight up, creating a square textured layer continuing to modernize the haircut shape. We continue this process working all the way through to the front hairline. I now take a triangular cutting section, elevating 90 degrees straight up to remove the corner in the crown zone. This helps to increase movement and texture and avoids the shape growing out with what I'd call a duck's bum. Let me know in the comments below if you know what I mean. I now refine the haircut taking the same sections previously used to create the shape. Using my wide tooth crocodile texturizing shears, I use the width of my cutting fingers as my guide. This will help to place texture and movement with guided precision. This process will increase movement and texture while removing weight from the shape. We continue this process until we refine and personalize the whole haircut shape. Stay tuned until the end and you'll see how I flat wrap the shape into natural fall before cutting an amazing textured micro fringe and to show you the shape diffused. Diffusing your haircuts and seeing how the shape establishes in its natural fall is the, the most honest way of seeing whether your haircut is built with structure and can be worn without any or minimal styling. If you like this tutorial, be sure to watch my Pixie haircutting playlist, linked in the card above and in the bio below. And if you value my work, please hit the like and subscribe icons, it would go a long way in supporting my channel. And in the comments below, let me know where you're watching from. Assess the shape, step back and view your haircut from different angles. Notice the crown and the nape are cut to accentuate and hug the head shape, creating a modern haircut. I'll diffuse the shape so I can show you what it would look like if your client was to wash and wear it without styling. I now flat wrap blow dry the haircut into natural fall before refining the fringe into an amazing textured micro bang, using my scissors to point cut deep into the fringe to remove more weight. Open and close your blades multiple times in one place and also angle your scissors to remove more weight, creating even more texture. Just a reminder, pixie haircuts are for everyone. I don't believe in being age appropriate. I believe in feeling and looking fabulous no matter how young you are. Continue to use your scissors cutting in at different depths and different angles until you achieve your desired result. This is my short feather razor cut pixie haircut. A versatile textured shape that can suit in any client at any age. If you like this tutorial be sure to watch this one next.